video I'm going to show you how to change the heating element of a Samsung side-by-side -side American style fridge freezer. One of the reasons you have ice buildup uh, on the evaporator as you can see the ice building up there. Uh, we explored some of the reasons in my previous video and I showed you how to uh, take the evaporator cover off here and how to uh, replace it with a new one and I put the link to the new one under my previous video um, and I explained there that the cover needs to be properly sealed and um, this where the uh, gas comes into the pipes here also starts building up um, ice and frost that needs to be sealed so you have to make sure it's, it's all sealed but one of the main reasons that it doesn't uh, defrost and it builds up ice is because this area this uh, drain here is covered or clogged with ice and the reason it's clogged with ice or iced up is because the heating element doesn't come on. Now it could be the heating element itself that's blown or gone or the uh, thermostats that you have there uh, it's basically inside them they're just two plates there's nothing special about them that connects and disconnects the electrics electric current through uh, the heating element by the temperature as it gets really uh, frosty it connects and then the heating element comes on and it's supposed to melt that so you don't have a buildup of ice here and you'll have a flow of um, nice cold air uh, and when it gets icy or frosty defrosted so <coughs> I've already taken the uh, the old heating element off it was at the bottom here and these two uh, thermostatic switches uh, they have each one they have two kind of plastic pins that go into two holes here and two holes there they just just have to be pressed in but to take them out I've already taken the old one out and in fact I've tested the element the element is still okay um, it's working but it's the switching the, the thermostatic switches that don't work so but because they don't come separately this whole thing comes as one piece because the wires have gone inside and they've been soldered inside there and so the same here with the plug uh, they've gone inside and they, they've been uh, pressed there so you have to buy the whole thing and I put the link to uh, one of these in the description of this video so you can uh, purchase one of those and and replace yours the way I tested it basically I <coughs> stripped the wire uh, from here and here and connected it to the power directly to the socket and it turned on and you could feel the temperature rising and you could see the heat uh, but when I connect the power here uh, it wouldn't come on because the thermostatic obviously it has to be ice and when I put cold ice on it it still didn't work so that tells me the switches don't work so I bought new ones and as I said uh, I put the link to purchase one of these in the description of this video but I'll show you how to put it on uh, first before I do that I have to tell you the pins that you see here these are your thermostatic switches you can see there's like plastic pins that come out and you need to um, just basically press it in those two holes that you have on the plates but um, when you want to take them out 
it's not as easy as just pressing it in or just pulling it out. Um, so you have to actually have long nose pliers or snippers or something to just snip these um, the nibbles of these plastic bits basically and then it comes off. Otherwise it will be very difficult or you might damage the, uh, the aluminium plates here. Uh, at the bottom also you have this aluminium, these two aluminium plates. Uh, they are kind of bent hooked uh, around the uh, either side of this heating element so you need to uh, kind of bend them backward with uh, some long nose pliers or some tools that you might have uh, or even with your fingers you can do their soft aluminium bend them so this can be released don't try to than the uh, heating element because you'll just damage it, you'll destroy it. Uh, so you, you just bend the hooked part of this uh, element here, sorry, not the uh, hooked part of the, uh, the aluminium plate on this side and that side, so it releases the uh, heating element and you've already unplugged the plug and you release the thermostatic switches then you can just take them all out. Then you put the same, you reverse the process with the new one now, you put the new one in Well, I couldn't show you while I was putting it in, but um, I'm just going to zoom in and explain a little bit better. So, the heating element has gone inside there. All I did while I was uh, having my back to the camera um, was that. Uh, put the heating element in its uh, place. There are two grooves on this side, two on that side, which kind of hooks the plate and the hooks were, on, uh, were bent backwards so I could put the uh, element in and then hook them back on again. And you have to make sure one side of the element goes behind, one end goes behind these pipes and the cable, the wire, one wire goes behind them. So it was a little bit tight there. I had to push this back and put them in and then put the switching, thermostatic switches, press them in those two holes and put the plug back in. That's all I had to do. And the removal is the reverse way, but like I said, to remove the thermostatic switches, that's the difficult part. You just have to snip the plastic uh, bits off and then take it out. Now you've still got some frost here and some ice there and this hole is still um, some water but all the way is ice top is frozen so right if you have built up ice and you want to put it back put the cover back on uh, but it's too frosty and too much ice there it, prevents putting the cover back on. You can use a hair dryer and melt the ice. All right, 
that the ice is all melted. Just make sure the hole, the drain is open. Alright, the, the ice is all melted and I think the heating element is working because the evaporator is getting like a kind of frosty but it doesn't go all the way down and it keeps it at the right temperature. So I can put the cover back on now and I've shown you in the other video which will come at the end of this video and uh, end the screen uh, as to how to put the cover back on. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please share to help other people with the same problem. Till next video, it's goodbye from me.